Hey everyone, DFA here. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, we're going to take a second look at Hakuryu again today, following up on my last week video about how to play it in 2024. And more specifically, we're going to take a look at how to min max it. Is the legendary equipment of the Hakuryu actually worth it, the legendary module? And which commander is also best for Hakuryu? So, without further ado, let us actually jump into a training room. We do get, at the same time, an invite from our good friend Zelensky, and let us start testing. And so how are we going to do this? Uh, I do have a second Hakuryu in the uh, training room and it is actually my own Hakuryu with the uh, level 12 commander, vanilla commander, with the fighter uh, skill, the fighter module, which increases the speed of the fighters and essentially the historical camo as well. And what I'm going to see first uh, is how many of these torpedo bombers will actually make it back to the carrier. So we're simply going to send them uh, to a fictionary target right on top of an island there. And we do have the <laughs> Zelensky's fighters ready to intercept. And we're going to essentially see the performance of the CV without the legendary module. And right after that, we will test it with it. And you see that the two fighter squadrons are actually able to pick up the first squadron. They do make it back to their original position. And before that, they actually start running after the second <laughs> torpedo bomber squadron. And they actually almost delete it. Yeah, and I did repeat that test several times, and to be fair, sometimes they did delete the second squadron, but you usually around <laughs> one or two planes were able to make it back in that case. Five made it back. And okay, time to repeat the test, but this time with the legendary module, which increases the speed and return speed by 10%. That's pretty significant, but at the expense of torpedo bomber HP. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm not sure it's much of an inconvenient. I wasn't sure it was much of a problem before doing that test, because the fact that they go faster means that the enemy fighters will have, they will take a lot more time actually catching you. And that's going to keep your planes much more alive and uh, or much longer alive. And uh, essentially more of them will be making it back to the hangar. But that's what we're going to see now. We're going to put the enemy Hakuryu fighters into position and we're going to send our two squadrons as we did in the first test. There we go, we start the timer as well. Yeah, and it actually feels like I'm commenting on a Formula 1 race because they are much, much faster. And you will see that the first fighter squadrons will actually have issues catching them once they are past them. So they're only able to catch up when the torpedo bombers slow down to, to launch their torpedoes. And yes, uh, as they turn around, so they actually get deleted on top of the island. In the previous run, it was on top of the enemy CV. And you see that the two fighter squadrons of the Akuryu with the fighter mod have issues actually catching up with the second squadron, who's able to make it back alive and almost unharmed. It's also a full 4 seconds faster, so that's a pretty significant boost to DPM as well. But keep in mind the Hakuryu was not equipped with a commander. What happens when you put another commander into it? Let's take a look at that. And yeah, let us leave the room and put the Commander Fushida, which I tested in the previous video, which increases the return speed of all aircraft squadrons 12% and also the speed of torpedo bombers with another one of his skills. Let's take a look at that in action. And so we're back into the room, the same Hakuryu fighters in front, and we do start the timer and see where it takes us. And again, this will feel like I'm commenting on a Formula 1 race because they are even faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funky to see, so and yeah, you see the enemy fighters are moving to intercept and it's very difficult for them to actually keep up with the first Attack squadron. Time. And what happens is it turns around, it gets deleted, will they be able to catch it? Actually no, 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 and the second squadron is actually catching the fighters. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that legendary module is a must-have if you're serious about min-maxing Hakuryu, because even though it does reduce the HP of your torpedo bombers, it will actually increase their survivability, and they will be less vulnerable to fighters, they will also less spend less time in AA as well. 
And to be fair, Hakuryu does not have the fightest fighters at the sorry the fastest fighters at tier 10. Uh, that would be Midway and Manfred probably. But yeah, it's kind of middle of the pack. But still, uh, Malta, for example, of an eagle, they will have no chance of actually catching you, and your torpedo bombers will be completely safe. <laughs> Make it back. <laughs> without any problem. And another perk of that thing is when you actually uh, see the speed it gives to torpedo bombers, they're actually able to catch up and <laughs> the dive bombers as well. And uh, they will actually make it back more or less at the same time as the dive bombers. So it's something that's pretty important if you want to protect your torpedo bombers in Japanese CVs, as you know. Uh, typically your dive bombers are going to serve as mid shield for your torpedo bombers and you will actually have to wait some time until the two squadrons are reloaded before sending a new strike. Well here that waiting time will be reduced because you see that the, <laughs> yeah, the torpedo squadrons are actually catching the dive bomber squadrons. So they do return at the same time. So that's another advantage and which is why that legendary module is an absolute must buy. Now, okay, we've spent enough time with Fushida. Time to take a look at the new epic commander, Tamon Yamaguchi. And this one is actually fairly interesting because he does have a unique skill called Precision Bombing, which actually uh, reduces the bomb dispersion by 15%, but also does not increase the bomb penetration that the regular skill is giving you. So you're essentially getting more accurate bombers that should be dealing less damage kind of well i actually am going to show you something because i did spend some time testing that in a training room as you can expect and that is the spreadsheet i am actually using when i do my testing i've already shown the accuracy version of it uh, in a previous video i'm going to take a look at the cv version of it you see that setup called cv accuracy and essentially you have the accuracy of yeah i've measured around 9000 bomb tops <laughs> that's quite a lot <laughs> Uh, and testing the accuracy of all the CVs in the game past tier 7. And you see that the regular Akuryu, it's uh, actually not super accurate at 48.5%. Uh, yeah, and there's actually a pretty big standard deviation when you look at the hits. So half of the bombs are actually going to hit their target. And I use an Ashitaka as a target, so it's a pretty uh, average ship size for a tier 10 CV. When you put a commander on it, because the 48, that's stock without any commander on it, when you put a commander with the bombing skill, you see that your accuracy increases by 5% to <laughs> 54%. That's actually quite nice. And when you put Yamaguchi, yeah, it's almost close to 60% on par with the implacable graph Parseval, etc. So what that concrete means is you will be hitting your targets 12% more and essentially what's interesting is the standard deviation is also significantly reduced so your bombers will be hitting their targets a lot more uh, but without necessarily uh, also being a lot more reliable so they will be a lot more consistent as well and what's interesting is if you take that example i'm also recording the typical damage that they deal and you see that when you have the uh, Yamada, sorry, the Hakuryu stock, you do get an average damage of 860. With Yamaguchi, it's more or less the same damage. And when you have the extra, uh, the skill, uh, the regular skill that gives an increase in bomb penetration, the increase in damage, it's less than 30 points. So it's really, really not a lot. So you're actually not losing that much when you're using uh, Yamaguchi in terms of damage. What is more interesting in terms of benefits uh, is that this guy is essentially going to, yeah, so let's say for example the standard bomb accuracy is 48.5%, so you see that Hakuryu does have the worst uh, DPM in terms of bombers, the worst bombers at <laughs> tier 10, and with the worst fire chance or fires per minute, if you say only 0.8. And if you actually uh, replace that by 60% or the 59.6, you see that the fire chance jumps to one superior uh, to the Nahimova. That's actually pretty good. And the DPM also goes up quite nicely. So you're gaining in total, I think, if I remember, it's a little bit less than 1000 DPM. So that's a pretty significant boost for Hakuryu. But really for me, the key benefit here is the increase in fire chance. So I 
I will, this will make the Akuryu much more competent uh, in terms of playing the fire and flooding game. The dive bombers will be much more reliable, so it's a fairly, fairly good commander to have, to be honest. Yeah, and you see here in action in the training room during my accuracy recording, and it's probably the commander I'm going to train and pick for my Hakuryu. It's pretty easy to obtain, it's in the advanced uh, collection part of... Uh, you don't need a couple of ships to, to get it, to be honest, and Ishokaku is one of them, and yeah, a triple fire, something absolutely unthinkable with the normal Hakuryu bombers. Uh, Fushida, probably I will put it if I ever get it one day, because I do not have it. Probably put it on the Taiho or the... Uh, Shokaku, where I will for the moment keep using Ozawa, because yeah. Ozawa, I would probably rank it third behind the uh, Tamonia Maguchi and Fushida, because it's still a good commander, but I do think that the uh, two epics are actually superior. So that was my take on how I would actually min Max Hakuryu. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, stay safe, take care, that was DFA signing out, bye bye.